Yes, it's John Two Two One Two. It's the best from Gerald Tech. And today, welcome to my first Xcode tutorial. This is an application that builds Mac and iPhone apps uh, on a Mac only. So, yeah. Today, I'm going to, for my first tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a simple web browser. It'll look like this. I'll go ahead and run the demo one. As you can see here, we have all the good stuff. And you even have the zoom. And as you saw there, it loads the web page. You can go ahead and search something. Go ahead and load a web page, whatever you feel like. Zoom in, zoom out, reset, zoom, reload, print. Yeah, pretty nice browser. And home. So, we also have the back forward. You, all the usual stuff you expect. So let's get started. So I'm going to open wait, another Xcode window if I can. Actually no. So I'm going to open a new project. New project there. And make sure it's on the Mac OS X. It's an application. Click next. Name your product. So I'll just do browser for YouTube click next and just create it wherever you feel like it and now we're there there is actually no cold coding involved with this but yeah so we're going to go ahead to the uh, project properties and click this plus button we're gonna find webkit.framework we're going to find webkit.framework just search it and click it and click add now it's all very simple we we'll go to the main menu click the window until a window pops up now we're going to resize the window to your liking so go ahead and resize this I'll just make it pretty small just so you can see what's going on so first you're going to add uh, two buttons two push buttons just add them in there okay just add two buttons wherever you like it and you're going to name them back forward and now you're going to add web view you're going to add the web view right here and you can resize it to your liking now you're going to add the text box for the URL text I mean not a text box text field sorry resize that quickly and one more button wait I'll just paste that in and we're going to name that reload and what next what next what next what next Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, I lost my train of thought. So you're going to add two round buttons for the zoom. So I'll just add one here. And then uh, minus. Add another one here. It is actually pretty hard to program with the trackpad, but you don't have to do any programming in this, it's all built in. Now we're going to add a button again. Push button. You name that reset zoom. And add a 
another push button here. Then that print. And now we're going to add a text box. Oops. Text field, I mean. Just add a text field. And you're going to type the home page URL you want. So. I just added this homepage URL. Now you're gonna make it tiny so they can't see. So it's kind of like a line now. But now you're gonna add the home button. So let's start the kind of program. So you're gonna hold control, hold control while dragging back to, wait, we got that. You're gonna hold control. Wait, if it's yellow, then don't keep going. Hold control, drag it to the web view, and now you're gonna find go back. And you're gonna go forward, do the same thing except do go forward. Now for the URL bar, yeah, like I said, yellow means death, so don't even bother to try when it's yellow. You're gonna do take string URL from and reload <coughs> do simple reload and uh, minus where's minus all right make text types yet yeah. make text smaller make text bigger make the yellow is death make text standard size print and you're gonna try to get that text box that you try to hit and you're gonna make that text string URL from and you're gonna drag the home to the text field and now you're gonna do perform click so it should all be working keep in mind that you have to do HTTP before every web address or else it won't work so keep that in mind so google.com maybe hit enter or return it automatically loads up zoom in zoom out and if we go somewhere else maybe youtube home it automatically goes back to google which is the thing i put in we are back so we can go back to youtube forward you can go back forward now, so you can print easy hit and we actually did no programming for this it's that easy so that's it guys thanks for watching